You are youth of the noble birthright. You may not at this time know what that means. It means that behind you are great men and women who did wonderful and brave things. They made decisions that were not easy to make, and in many cases they paid a terrible price for those decisions, some of them even giving their lives rather than forsake the truth they had embraced. I should like to tell you of three 18-year-old boys. In 1856, more than a thousand of our people, some of them perhaps your forebears, found themselves in serious trouble while crossing the plains to this valley. Because of a series of unfortunate circumstances, they were late in getting started. They ran into snow and bitter cold in the highlands of Wyoming. Their situation was desperate, with deaths occurring every day. President Young learned of their condition as the October General Conference was about to begin. He immediately called for teams, wagons, drivers, and supplies to leave to rescue the bereft saints. When the first rescue team reached the Martin Company, there were too few wagons to carry the suffering people. The rescuers had to insist that the carts keep moving. When they reached the Sweetwater River on November 3rd, chunks of ice were floating in the freezing water. After all these people had been through and in their weakened condition, that river seemed impossible to cross. It looked like stepping into death itself to move into the freezing stream. Men who had once been strong sat on the frozen ground and wept, as did women and children. Many simply could not face that ordeal. And now I quote from the record, three 18-year-old boys belonging to the relief party came to the rescue. To the astonishment of all who saw, they carried nearly every member of the ill-fated handcart company across the snowbound stream. The strain was so terrible and the exposure so great that in later years all the boys died from the effects of it. When President Brigham Young heard of this heroic act, he wept like a child and later declared publicly that act alone will ensure C. Allen Huntington, George W. Grant, and David P. Kimball, an everlasting salvation in the celestial kingdom of God, worlds without end. Great was their heroism, sacred the sacrifice they made of health and eventually of life itself to save the lives of those they assisted, to be true to that great inheritance, true to the faith that our parents have cherished, true to the truth for which martyrs have perished, to God's command, soul, heart, and hand, Faithful and true we will ever stand.